some of the things that I love about being Métis. I love going to Peavine um, and hanging out with my cousins while going quadding. I also love going to my great grandpa's house and eating his dry meat. <laughs> I love um, when my teachers are talking about Métis culture and Métis people and I get to tell them that I'm Métis and, be and proud of it. I love going to youth camps and events and hanging out with other Métis people and seeing them dancing and people playing Métis music and stuff. Glad you and I'm proud to be Métis. I live here in Beaumont with my family. My husband is Métis Cree and we have two children, Willow and Sage. I always knew that I was Métis, but I didn't really embrace my Métis identity until about 20 years ago when I met my husband. Um, I traveled around with him throughout the Métis homeland and really got to know what Métis culture is all about. When I think of Métis, I think of alive, I think of vibrancy, I think of dance and music, the fiddle, I think of the Red River Cart, I think of resilience, I think of community and family. And I'm so proud to be Métis. Today I'm wearing a capote that I made a capote is a blanket jacket that the voyageurs, many of them who were Métis, wore. They were made out of wool blankets and they were warm in the winter because of the wool being warm and water repellent. And they had a great hood and a built-in scarf. Happy Métis Week! Hey Beaumont, my name is Tanya Crook. This is my 11th year living in Beaumont with my husband and my two children. My Métis family names are Carafel, Shaw, McDermott, Hamlin, among others. My family on both my grandparents' sides have lived in what is now called Alberta since before Canada was a country, specifically in the areas of Gruard, Canuso, Athabasca Lake, and Lac St. Anne. Currently, much of my family still lives in Northern Alberta, mostly in Peabon Métis settlement. It's common for Métis people to introduce themselves in this way, especially amongst one another, because who you come from and where in the Métis homeland you come from is an important part about what makes you Métis and how your ancestors fit within the historical Métis Nation community. I like to celebrate Métis Week by having our entire family participate in as many activities as possible, planned by the Métis Nation, so doing the Louis Riel Walk annually, taking part in community and cultural events. I love gathering with friends and family uh, around food, dance, and music, sometimes called a Métis kitchen party, as well as taking time to practice some traditional Métis art forms to actively reclaim some of the history that's been lost, so things like beading, quill work, finger weaving. And I always cook a good traditional Métis meal, um, so stew and bannock and some traditional laboom tea or wild mint tea. I also try and spend time with my extended family um, in Peavine and East Prairie Métis settlements. Time with family, time with the community, and time on the land are all things that ground me, so I try and do as much as I can of that, especially during Métis week. Lastly, I love to celebrate through teaching and advocacy. Um, I love to make known all the things that have been hidden of this rich and unique culture and why we became a nation recognized in the Canadian Constitution as one of the three rights-bearing Indigenous groups in Canada and how we're different than the other Indigenous groups in Canada. So I want to thank you, City of Beaumont, for highlighting Beaumont's proud Métis community during Métis Week this year. And just a shout out to all the other Métis Beaumontians sharing their culture this week. Happy Métis Week! Thank <laughs> you.